Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video I'll be showing you how to create a hamburger icon for your Divi Mega Menu. These steps are very straightforward so without wasting a lot of time let me show you quickly how you can create this. In order for us to achieve this hamburger icon we'll be using some CSS code and if you'd like to follow along I'll leave the link in the show notes below. Okay so I'm over here in my WordPress dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is to come over here to appearance and then go to menus. So you want to create a brand new menu. So I'm going to come over here and click on create new menu. We can call this whatever we like, but I'm just going to call this mega menu and then click on create menu. Right. So now that we've created this mega menu, the next thing we need to do is to make sure that it's selected. So we're going to come over here to manage locations. And then we're going to make sure that our primary menu is set to Mega Menu. Like that, click on Save Changes. And then let's go back to Edit Menus. Now that we have that selected, we also need to make sure that we have the CSS activated here. So we can see here the CSS classes is not available. So we just need to make sure that it's um, checked right here where it says CSS classes. And then we can just close it by coming here to Screen Options. So now the next thing we need to do is to create the pages. So there's two ways you can do this. You can use existing pages that you have on your website or you can create custom links. In my case, I'm just going to create custom links. So I'm going to come over here to custom links, the URL. I'm just going to add blank URLs and then I am going to add my link test. So for this one, I'm just going to call this about us, add it to the menu. If you'd like to add uh, pages that you already have on your website, you can just come over here to the pages tab and you can see we have a list right here. So you can go ahead and add, say, for example, this accordion or Ken, Ken slider. You can just click that and then now it's added to the menu. So go ahead, add a few pages. OK, so I've added all my pages onto my menu. So there's one menu that's very, very important that I need to add. So I'm going to come over here and paste this text and uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, I add a blank link and then click on add to menu. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this all the way to the top. Now I'm just going to toggle this and add a CSS class. So over here on the classes, I'm just going to add mega menu because this is the class that's going to make our mega menu work. Okay, so now that I've added all that, I'm just going to close this. So now we need to create the categories for our mega menu. So we're going to start off with about us. So I'm just going to move this slightly to the right. And then I'm going to have these four items below it. So it's our team, our mission and company history. OK, so the next thing we need to do is to make sure that the services, because this is the next category, is in line with the about us. And then like I did before, we just need to make sure that uh, under the services, we have these three items, uh, web design, SEO, web dev. And then here, we're going to do the same with our work. Now, if you drag it too far, it's not a problem. All you need to do is just to drag it back into position. So I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to finally do the contact us like that. OK, so now that I have all these in um, in the different categories, so we have about us, services, our work and contact us. OK, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead now and click on save menu. OK, so let's take a look at our website and see if this mega menu is working. So I'm going to come over here and click on visit site, but I'm going to make sure that I open this in a new tab. OK, so if I come over here, we can see that our mega menu is working. And those are our four categories, the about us, services, our work and contact us. So the next step now is to add some jQuery on our website. So what we need to do is to come over here to Divi, click on theme options and then click on integration. Now our jQuery code needs to go into the head section of our website. And uh, this code, as I mentioned earlier on, can be found on our blog, which I'll link in the comments below. Right. So I'm just going to paste my jQuery, click on save changes. So what this jQuery does is it makes our mega menu show when clicking the icon instead of when hovering. So our next step now is to add our CSS. So I'm going to come back here to the general tab, scroll all the way down until I find this custom CSS, expand this so I can see where my last CSS was added. OK, so making sure that your new CSS starts on a new line, I'm going to hit command V to paste and then I'm going to click on save changes. 
So now if we come to our website, we can see we have a hamburger icon and if we click on it, our mega menu shows. So if we take a look at our hamburger icon here, we can see that it's gray and it doesn't really stand out on our on our background here at the top. So in the CSS code, it's well structured and also labeled. So you can actually go back in and change this color. So let's go back and let's do that just in case you might have a background that's doubt that's dark. So I'm going to come over here and let's search for that line. Right. So we can see here, change the color, uh, change color of icon here. We can go ahead and change the color here. So I'm going to change this to white and white is F F F F F F. Okay. So let's save changes and refresh and then let's take a look. So now you can see that our menu has now changed to white. And if I click on it, it's now uh, working fine. So that's what you can do if the color of your icon does not match your branding. So just go ahead and just make sure that you change it over here where it says color. Okay, so there's also one more thing you could do. So let's say you want to add a label to this hamburger icon. What you could actually do is you could come back here to the appearance menus and then let's go in and add a label in here. So we're going to call this menu. So I'm just going to type in menu. And by the way, you can add, you know, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and save the menu. Back here on our website, I'm just going to refresh this. And now you can see that our hamburger icon has a label to it and it's called menu. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, just give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.